Andrew Tate here has an opinion on handling women. Let's take a look Let's at this video on Tate handling women. Let's check it out. I'm trying to find a husband, the kind of beast that can handle a woman like me. The average man's life, how difficult it is, how competitive he has to be, and how many problems he has to fix. Do you think he wants to handle any woman? The idea of any degree of problem, the point of having a woman as a man, for me at least, is for her to be my peace and quiet. My life is stress. When I come home to my chick, the last thing I want to do is have to handle anything. I want her to just sit the fuck down and her make me happy. Mm. She needs to be my positive energy. She needs to be my sunshine in the rainstorm. Okay. So uh, you're talking about him handle you, but if you're sitting there constantly arguing over small points or correcting him or that he's probably thinking this is a bow i don't have the energy to for another fight you know it's interesting that he, he says that it's like he uh, the where shina is in, in my life she's my partner in yeah. the business so she's my partner in a lot of things we've, so we're discussing these issues throughout the day and then by the time we get home we're both tired yeah you know so uh, you've got if i guess his situation where where maybe uh, the women he has in his life or the woman he has in his life or whatever he want whatever is situation is uh he might be uh she might be a stay-at-home wife or whatever case may be and she's got nothing all day but to wait for him to come home and say hey babe i need you to do this i don't think about this bah, 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 bah. that's the situation i don't deal with that situation because my wife is with me throughout the day we have coffee in the morning together if i don't have a, a business lunch we're having lunch together uh, uh if i don't have a, a business dinner we're having dinner together with the kids so we're constantly throughout the day together so i don't have to deal with something now Late, late at night, guess who has a lot more words? Yeah. <laughs> she still got a lot of words. Yeah. I'm like, baby, it's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm, I'm, down, I'm, 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 I'm downloading my day, and I'm, you know, I got my cigar uh, lit, and uh, I'm processing my day. Just, I'm, I'm good. And she goes, you ran out of words, didn't you? I said, I did. Okay. All right, honey. I'll see you in bed. <laughs> so what's your thoughts? Well, I, I go home to nobody. I go home to myself, to my own shadows. Uh, Jordan, uh, kick on the violin music. <laughs> but I'm back with music. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. But I, I would say that I don't know. I, I, for some reason, this video, um, the way he said it, it makes it sound like you know his woman is just there for his per personal convenience, for his benefit, for his desires. For all, it, it's all about him in this position. Mm -hmm. And again, it kind of uh, as what you said, I, th I see relationships more of a, of a partnership. How can we add to one another? Because there's going to be days that. You know, your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, do, you know, is doing X, Y, Z for her career, for her life, and she's going to need that extra support from her man. And, yep. you know, and if she's having an off day, but you come home and you're also having an off day, just because she's having an off day and she's not meeting your needs, does that mean immediately that this woman is a disposable woman because she's not doing her quote unquote part in his eyes? Mm. Um, I, I, I think it's a full 100%, you know, full 100% commitment from his end and her end, or, you know, my yeah. end and my, my future spouse's end. And I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not in a position where I can say, yeah, this is what I experienced and this is what I know. But just from the short period of time that I was engaged and we were living together, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people don't see that as a positive thing, especially, you know, for a lot of the Christians mm -hmm. out there. But I learned a lot about, you know, what it is to be able to coincide with someone, you know, be living on the same roof with the one person you're about to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah. And literally, you think, you know, when you first move in with somebody, it's, you know, beautiful, like, you know, rainbows and adventure and movie fairy, nights fairy and tales yeah yep. fairy tales yeah. and within the first three days we were arguing over the toilet seat uh -huh. toothbrush hair uh -huh. all over the sink <laughs> makeup all over the sink now, of course you know, underwear we're just laying by the bed, those type of things so immediately it was a reality check it's a reality check so definitely as you say i think it's an everlasting opportunity to be able to grow with one another and to experience spiritual mental and emotional growth and not because you guys are trying to intentionally teach each other but because of that what that whatever that person does or how they are how they carry themselves how their, per, their their persona persona uh, forces you to grow and forces you to think outside of your personal box. The sooner you figure out that you want a woman in your life versus girls, yeah. the much easier life is going to be. And again, this is the 49-year-old version. Talk to the 29-year-old version of me. The sooner you figure out what a woman is, you're going to get rid of the girls. And by the way, ladies, the girls, as soon as you figure out that you are actually a woman, you're going to be a woman versus being a girl. Your standards are going to stay here. You're not, you're gonna, you're not gonna drop your standards. You, you, you want what you want. You deserve what you deserve for the effort and the price that you're willing to pay. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you wanna see the full podcast, click right here.